Hello and welcome to or welcome back to Transport Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Last episode or episode 1, the preview episode, episode 0 sorry, the preview episode was all about getting to get to grips with the map showing you what I had created and what I planned to do. Episode 1, here we go, it's time to actually get started on getting everything in the correct place. As you can see, all the forests, all the farms, everything is missing. All the industries are now missing too. I've taken all the industries out, barring one and two. Everything else is missing. So in this episode, no time lapse for this one, maybe no time lapse for the first few episodes. We're going to be actually preparing ourselves to do the actual work. So. Uh, let's see, we'll get all the industries, all the um, creation industries, that is like the coal mines, the quarries, the iron mines, maybe some farms, not sure about the farms just yet, uh, but things, things like that, we'll get them into place. So, uh, let's get started, uh, but first, let's roll on the intro. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, I need to delete a few things. Uh, and I'm going to start by deleting this entire section here. That road there, that there, and that there. Get rid of that, and I'm going to be smoothing this out. Now, hopefully I've got everything that I need to correctly do this. Uh, if I haven't, naturally I'll be, I'll be figuring out what I need to do. I'm not sure about why this is done done this but um, we'll we'll figure it out at some point so we're just going to get rid of things that clearly do not need to be there I really should have connected this up to the Thames I've just that's just coming as a thought right now that I should have connected that up to the Thames because the Royal Albert docks were actually in use in those days but it's okay we can just pretend that uh, where we're, it's, it's going to be difficult because I can't actually block out uh, rivers and things like that just yet uh, in Transport Fever, and I know they're working on another title, so let's have a look. Uh, everything else, I've kept the rivers as they were, trying to do my best to make sure that they all look okay. I think the river XC is probably the one that looks the worst. The rest of these, I've tried to make sure that they're, they're all somewhat okay, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. For example, this opening here is not great, but it will have to do I think otherwise I could spend hours and hours and hours still on this I've spent a lot of time uh, doing this and creating this map I don't want to spend too much more time doing anything on this I do want to get rid of this though over here uh, don't want any of that and I do want to smooth out the the uh, river just this, this part down here that will do quite nicely there we go down on the Avon. This is River Avon? Yeah, I think this is the Avon. Uh, also, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of demolition. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on here. There's going to be a lot of buildings that are going to be going in and out. We're going to be moving things around. Uh, this is a no cost. This is a no cost run, and it's going to be, hopefully, absolutely incredible. Uh, what else do I need to do? I want to smooth out this just a little bit. Like so. That looks pretty good. And anything else? Let's have a look. That looks okay. Kind of want to take... No, actually, we'll leave that as it is and then if we need to, we'll demolish that. The point is, we've really got to keep this in pause mode though. That's, that's a really big thing. We have to keep it in pause mode. Otherwise, things are going to go really, really badly wrong. Uh, so a lot of this series is going to be in pause mode as we build things. And then we'll play them, then we'll keep an eye on destroying things. What happened to this river? Must have made a mistake there. Oh, well, we've started now. I really should have checked that. Everything else seems to be okay. Swansea's grown in a really weird fashion already. Or been spawned in a, real, in a really weird fashion. But there we go sort of fix that up there you go all done okay so what are we going to do let's have a look I've got a map over here and I'm going to pull in the uh, iron steel 
Let's have a look at where we had iron and steel. Uh, so we're looking for iron and steel deposits. Uh, two of them, of course, I've already put in place, which is the two, these two here, that one there, and that one there. Those are in accurate uh, position, so we're going to leave those as they are. Ooh, a little bit of a thing to clean up there. Perfect. But we are going to look at getting some more in. So apparently there's one quite close to uh, Bath. So actually, that might not... We can't get rid of that one, but maybe I want to put another one sort of somewhere in here. Let's start figuring it out. Uh, we'll put a... It's going to be coal. We're going to have a lot of coal. But we do need to find the flattest area of land we can to put this in. Hey, look, this doesn't look too shabby. Yep, this looks good. Let's stick it in there. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. Let's uh, clean that up. Yep, I'm okay with that one. Okay, so we're going to put in quite a few of these. Um, let's see. North of Bristol, we've already got that one there. Um, this one's going to be an interesting one. I, I have to admit, this one I think is going to be an interesting one. Because there's supposed to be a bridge that goes over this. But it should be alright. Um, let's see, where's Gloucester? Gloucester's up there. And this is all Gloucestershire, I think. I think, with Gloucester being up there, we need to have another one somewhere here. This looks like a good place. Let's, uh, let's do that. There. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Lovely. And it's another one. Perfect. Okay, so this area had a lot of coal in it. Lots of coal mining in the West Country. Um, and obviously up here they had a loss in towards Birmingham. Birmingham was just all coal. That entire area, I believe, if I remember correctly, that entire area was just covered in coal. Um, even to uh, sort of towards Leicestershire, from Leicestershire going through Derbyshire, up Nottinghamshire, all the way uh, Chesterfield and Leeds, all of that was just coal. And then we had iron sort of east of Leicestershire going towards... Um, uh, into Northamptonshire, Rutland, and um, I think back then they used to have a they used to have a a borough or sorry a shire called uh, uh, it wasn't Cambridgeshire it was a Huntingtonshire or something something like that I'm not entirely sure but I remember um, looking up some maps and and seeing these old shires so we've got four of them here I think that maybe we need to put in a fifth right near Bristol, although we've got that one. I feel like putting in another one just here. There, that will do. That will do nicely. Okay, so that's all of those done over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the opposite side of Gloucester because there's even more coal going in. So on this side of Gloucester, right near um, uh, this town here of Chepstow, just sort of here, there's supposed to be even more. So we're going to see if we can fit one in up here, and that is actually a fairly nice place to put one. There you go. A little bit of a cut there, but it's now cleaned. So we're just going to put one there, I think. We don't need any more than that. Uh, and then, this is where it gets a little bit difficult, because now, from sort of Newport, if we align ourselves correctly with the map like that, all of this, and I do mean all of it, all of this area is coal. So we need to figure out where we're going to put all of these coal mines. And this is where things get really fun, and this is where some of the challenges are going to be. Not just in placing the coal mines, but Getting trains up here, and that's that's where that's where um, this is all supposed to be. This is where the Great Western Railway. This is where it all comes into its own little fun part. Goes in, trying to 
This is going to... I need some more... Ooh, hold on. I could put one up here. Look at this. That's almost perfect. Oh, that's lovely. That's really lovely. There's one. Okay, that's good. Let's put another one down in this valley. Can I get another one in here? Out there? There. That's two. Let's just see if we can get six in. Uh, towards Port Talbot. Obviously, we steel works in Port Talbot. We get one unable to align terrain, but look at this. A potential one right here. There. Yes, a little bit of a cut, but we could literally clean that up momentarily. There we go. That's a third. Uh, I need some in here. How do we get some over here? Let's see, Newport, this area. If we could stick one in here. Um, okay. Where are we going to stick this? Oh, if I turn it around that way, it might just go on a slight raised platform. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And obviously, we're going to worry about roads and everything like that later, going in and out of this. Okay. That's how many? One, two, three, four. Let's put another one maybe up on this hill. Perfect. Five. Any others? One that could go into this valley over here near the edge of the map. Not quite. Not quite. I could stick one here, but I don't want to. I mean, it is supposed to continue out this way. Maybe, maybe back here. Hold on. Maybe back here. Anything could go back here. That's not too bad. What if I... That's not too bad. There you go. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that from the... From sort of... This sort of angle. So we've got one near Newport. We've got one up there. Um, hmm. Right. Let's have a look. Maybe we need one more. I've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Maybe another one sort of near Ab Abergavenny? Uh, Abergavenny? I think maybe... We need to put one there. Although I think that might be slightly... Might be going slightly too far north. So, I tell you what, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that as it is in, in that form. So this is sort of the uh, the Brecon. So this, this is a mountain range of Brecon Mountains. Obviously don't look as magnificent here, but I assure you they do look much more spectacular in real life. I've seen them. They look lovely. And uh, oh, down here, we don't have coal or anything. It's just in this mountain range. Oh, I could try and stick one extra one at the top. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, and then they did have some steel locations. So we did manage to find, sorry, not steel, iron of some sort. So we're going to, well, I'm going to sort of, I'm going to fudge this a little bit. And I'm just going to come out with a few uh, here and there that sort of go in the right area. So we should have one not far from Port Talbot. So I'm going to put an iron mine. I'll probably put it right there. Let's put an iron mine sort of right on the coast. Like that. You might even be able to get ships out. And we're going to put another iron mine sort of... Um, I think there's one that's supposed to be down here somewhere, but it's a bit close to Bridge End. So I'm going to actually put it down here instead. They weren't near the coast, so yeah, about here I'm going to put it instead. 
So that's two. Now we didn't have any up here aside from one that was maybe around this area. Yeah, or oh, actually this area. Right here, if we can stick one in here, that would be great. Spin it around, spin it around, spin it around. Just to give me an idea, keep it closed, keep your eyes closed. That's the way it's going to go. Okay, it's probably the way it started, I think. Um, and let's stick it in, in a way that it's going to look fairly okay. How about that? That doesn't look too bad at all. There we go. So that's three iron ore mines. Lovely. I don't... I don't know of too many more. I know there's some up here, but not many more. I'm going to put an iron mine up here somewhere. Let's stick it that way. Let's just stick it in right there, just as it is. Perfect. Top of the hill, iron ore mine. Lovely. And I'll stick another one in, sort of north of Port Talbot, uh, here. Here we go. This is the place for an iron ore mine. Auto save. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Now all we've got to do is figure out how to get trains up there. Or cars. Or whatever we're going to be doing. So we're about halfway through this episode. Or slightly more than halfway. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. But we have managed to do that. Uh, in addition to that... Somewhere north of Bista we used to have iron mines, so I'm actually going to cheat because the iron mine should be up here, but we're going to put an iron mine. Uh, I don't want it right on the edge of the map, so I'm actually going to put it in here. Right there. Perfect. And any other places that I know of iron mines. So we're going north of Bista into Bedfordshire and stuff. Um... That's all north. Let's have a look. Anything around the London area? Nope. Nothing around the Kent area. I'm now looking at maps. Nothing around Portsmouth. Nothing there. Um, oh, there is a little bit in Wiltshire near Bristol. So again, we're going to have a little bit in this area. Sort of, um, I tell you what, let's put let's put one down here. There we go, done. That's one. We'll just leave one. So iron is definitely going to be harder to to get than coal. Coal is definitely more more readily available, but we do have iron. A lot of it in Wales, so a lot of our coal and iron is going to have to come in from Wales. Now, let's see what we can find with regards to quarries. So, um, coal and iron, yeah we've done that, oh actually there wasn't iron near Bristol, that's uh, my mistake, it's actually a steel near Bristol so we're going to get rid of that, nobody saw that, shh, nobody saw that one. Um, where else do we have it? I know there, I know there was some north of um, Bista, so that I'm not worried about. I know I've got that one right, and I know the ones in in um, Wales are sort of right, They're not perfectly right. Ah, here we go. There are some near. Uh, is that near Bath, Chippenham? Okay. So we've got some around this area, so let's go ahead and uh, stick one, let's stick w that one that was supposed to be near Bristol, let's stick it in, well let's just make it awkward of ourselves and stick it in right there like that, let's see what happens. Okay, we'll have to figure out a road into that one. So we'll stick one in there and I think we'll stick one in near Chippenham, yeah I think we'll stick in another one near Chippenham. That's, uh, I'd say about there. There we go. Alright, that's all the iron we're going to have. There's no other... I don't think there are any other iron sources across the... across this map. No, there are not. That is it. Okay, let's move on to... perhaps some sort of stone. Now, stone's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to have to put in quarries, but... 
I'm going to have to be quite... Um, it's going to be an interesting one because I have to work this out for myself. There could be everywhere or there could be nowhere. Alright, stone-wise, we had a lot of stone coming in from, that's England, down this area. So we actually have some down here, so we're going to have a quarry down here. How we're going to get to it, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to have a quarry down there. Regardless, there were lots of quarries around here, even around Cardiff, this whole, this whole area, if this all becomes Cardiff, this whole area had quarries, but we're just going to put one there. Uh, we are then going to put another quarry not far from Port Talbot. Uh, should I put it near Bridge End? I think I should put it slightly... Yeah, let's put it out out here. Let's, let's put another quarry out here. Uh, in fact, let's put one in Bridge End. I'm sure we'll be reworking the cities a little bit, so... Oh, it's not going to fit. Uh, okay, we'll just put it down here then. Let's just work out a way to... I suppose we can just take a road all the way... Oh no, actually, that's mis accidentally ended up in a, in a perfect situation. I can just literally just take the road all the way in there, straight across into Bridge End. I did not intend for that one. I suppose that's why they put a quarry there. They found rocks then, they just thought, well, or rocks that they can mine easily. So, thought, well, that's a road to Bridge End. That was an accident. Anything else? Uh, there's Apparently there's loads of quarries along here, so I'm actually going to put, right next to this iron ore mine, I'm actually going to put a quarry. If I can somehow manage to get it in. Which apparently I cannot. There you go. There we go, we'll do that. I'm sure that will look absolutely fine. Uh, anything else? Any, or anywhere else? Yeah, there's loads of places here. Up in the hills once again. Uh, let's put a quarry up here. This looks like a good place for a quarry. Will it fit? No, it won't. This looks like a good place for a quarry. Oh, none of these places are good for a quarry. Oh, wait, wait. Up on this hill. Yeah, let's deal with the awkwardness of that. Yep, definitely going to deal with the awkwardness of that one. That's going to be fun to figure out, isn't it? Why am I doing this to myself? I could I could actually pick really easy places to put these. And I'm I'm choosing not to at all. There. Another awkward place for one. Where else can I stick a quarry? Um Top of Swansea up here again. Uh, no, it's not there. It's across that. It's in. The, yeah, it is in this area right here. So we can stick another. Let's see if we can stick a quarry in. Oh look, there's a spot right there that looks like it's begging to have a quarry put up there. Look, absolutely perfect. Right at the top of the hill, looking into the Breckens. You could have trees everywhere and just see this quarry right at the top of the hill. This is going to look amazing when it's done. I really hope you lot uh, follow this series all the way through because this is going to look fantastic. Okay, anywhere else we can put quarry? Apparently everywhere. Uh, where are we looking here? Near Oxford. We'll have a quarry near Oxford. Um, that's Tim. Not far from London. North of Slough, Henley on Thames, North of Reading, North of Reading, um, North of Reading, east southeast of Oxford. All right, North of Reading, east southeast of Oxford. That tells me it's there. We're sticking a quarry right here. This is probably going to be one of the most easiest quarry placements ever. There you go, quarry in. That's actually a rather large quarry. Oh, whoa, there's more. Winslow or Woburn. Uh, where are we looking here? That's uh, Apparently there's one right near Bista. Apparently there is a quarry somewhere just here. So we're going to actually put that one in. And I'm going to put it in like that angle. 
That'll do. Perfect. There's a quarry. Uh, any other quarries? We said there was one near Woburn. Um, which is going to be sort of north of Slough. We're looking north of Slough in the line of this. Near Luton? Yeah, I suppose it would be near Luton. Slightly, maybe slightly south of Luton. Here. It's going to be in here, near Aylesbury. And that angle is going to be that one. Okay. Um, that looks good. There we go. There's another quarry in. Any other quarries we can put in? Uh, yep. This is going to be an interesting one. Right here. Of course. Of course we're going to be able to put a quarry in here. I'm actually going to cover this entire area in trees, so... We're going to have quarries there. We're going to have quarries on this side of it as well. Eventually, we're probably going to have to destroy these quarries because London's going to grow out to this, this area, but... Or we could leave the quarries in. And that would just be part of... Part of London. That would be awesome. Uh, from there, I suppose going towards... Royal Tunbridge Wells, um, East Grinstead, Haywards Heath. No, I think we're going a little bit too far out. Nothing around the Ashdown Forest or anything. Brighton. Apparently there's quarries in here. Oh, well, that makes sense. That does make total sense. The question is, how am I supposed to stick a quarry in this? I can't, so I'm actually going to have to put the quarry here. I'm actually going to just stick the quarry in there. That's where it's going to have to go, unfortunately. There's also one that's going to go... What? We've got a hove going towards Stirling and Worthing. Sorry, Worthing on this side. Bognor Regis, uh, Worthing. The, we're going to actually have another quarry in here. This is going well. There we go, another quarry can go in there. And apparently there's more quarries towards Chichester. There's Chichester, obviously there's going to be quarries up there. Those are small quarries though, so I'm not going to put them in. And there's a quarry on the Isle of Wight. Um, I suppose that would be quite handy, so let's stick the quarry in down here. Give the Isle of Wight something to do, I suppose. Like so. Even though it's not actually down there, it should be in there, but as we've figured out, we can't actually stick them in these hills because I'm an idiot. Um, apparently there's... This area is supposed to be a quarry. How am I going to get a road through that? Oh, that is going to be pretty cool. This, there is a quarry over here. Oh, that is awesome. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out, but I need to try it. There you go. That is absolutely awesome to have a quarry there. How I'm going to get this down and... Well, maybe I could put a little harbour there and ships coming in and out. I have no idea. I think for now, though, we are, we are pretty much at the end of this episode. So, we are going to end this video in a moment. I need to put another quarry down in sort of Exmouth. Let's put it on this side. I think this side's fairly good. It's difficult to find the right spots for some of them, but how about there? We can always delete them if we need to. Nothing else down in that way. Towards Devon. Some up there. And I think we're fairly good. The majority of quarries were actually up... Up this way. Any in Minehead, actually? What was in Minehead? There must have been something in Minehead for it to be called Minehead. Once again, the majority is going to be in Wales. That's where we get a lot of that kind of stuff. But we do have a lot of quarries around here as well. So this is, this is looking fairly good. Anything north of London to end the episode? Let's have a look. Now I'll zoom out. 
nothing. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Correction. There's that one. Is that north of Enfield? There's one north of Enfield. There's there's one here. Let's figure it out. Let's go and stick it in. Just there. That will do. That looks fairly good. Okay. And with that, that is the end of episode one. Um, next episode, we're going to be placing in... Oh, I don't know. I suppose we shouldn't place in forest industries or anything at the moment until we've put the forests in. But we are going to start uh, breaking a number of these cities and just cutting them, cutting them down to very little. And we're going to start planning in roads and sort of working out what's going to be going on. Maybe, maybe add in a few other industries. Uh, oil. Oil is going to be an interesting one to try and put in. And then we're going to see what we can do from there. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on... Let's put this in a really interesting, nice way like that. More videos on Transports Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports will be massively, massively appreciated, particularly for the duration of this series because this is going to take a long time. It's going to be really hard work, so I, could, I really would appreciate uh, any support you can give there. You can also find me on Twitch for live streaming twitch.tv slash ecgadget and on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. I think that's all from me and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway.